I'm Andrew Saunders. I'm the engineering manager at AER, or Advanced Engine Research. I'm sure as most people in motor racing are aware, AER have been manufacturing two-litre turbo engines for approximately 15 years now, starting with work for MG, and uh, in the latter years with Mazda. And uh, so this engine is a is, is an AER two-litre four-cylinder turbocharged engine. Many modern evolutions from what we've learnt in American Le Mans series and, and the European Le Mans series using the Mazda engine and the AR engine. So a lot of, uh, lot of lightweight internal components, um, a, a clean sheet, all aluminium racing engine. The, the engine mass is approximately 95 kilos. Uh, sorry, I, I can't do that in pounds in my head. And that, uh, that includes flywheel, engine ECU, wiring loom, clutch studs. It's, that's a, sort of quite a comprehensive weight figure. This engine is capable of a lot more power than we're using. So as a, uh, a converted sports car engine or an evolved sports car engine, uh, this engine would typically have run between 5 and 600 horsepower. So there's a special version for Indy Lights, which is 450 horsepower with uh, 50 horsepower push to pass. And the torque, being a turbo engine, is, is a, it's manipulable. It's a, a shapeable um, value. But it's roughly 450 newton meters, which I guess is 400 foot-pounds, somewhere around there. But we can shape that for drivability. Because on a light car like this, um, you can have too much torque at low engine speeds. So we deliberately remove torque. You know, you know a car like this, you wouldn't be able to find a set of tires to, to uh, control the torque that we could deliver. Like most AR engines, uses the Life Racing ECU, which is pretty much AR and Life Racing. We, um, the two companies work very closely together. So the electronics are designed around the engine and, and in some cases vice versa. Um, and we have adaptive knock control, uh, full drive by wire, we have anti-lag strategies, uh, integrated paddle shift. So the, the, uh, the engine is very electronically advanced. Um, so the, uh, the, the engine can protect itself against bad fuel, that the knock system will retard the ignition, protect the engine. And we can, with the drive by wire system in parallel with a fully controllable boost system, we can ad adjust the boost pressure very, very quickly on gear shifts, uh, different, different boost targets for different gears, different, for different throttle positions. So part of this development phase in 2014 is to, is to make the boost control as good as it can be, uh, and likewise the, the control of the throttle and the, and the gear shift.